If you've got hip hop related questions, I've got hip hop related answers. Our question of the week comes from Rick from Houston. He says, hey D, I'm one of the hugest Jay-Z fans you'll ever meet. But I've got to be honest, Magna Carta Holy Grail has got to be one of his weakest efforts to date. This worries me. Do you think it's possible for Jay-Z to drop another classic album? Thank you for that email, dude. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what I think with regard to classic albums. I think we underestimate what has nothing to do with the music, and it's just the sense of beginnings, the sense of humble beginnings. Most of the times you'll hear somebody refer to an artist after their 10 years in the game and they'll say, well, their first album was better. And then somebody snickers the word, oh, you're a hipster. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it genuinely has everything to do with just how we view underdogs in this country, not even just musically, but just as a whole. We like the little guy. We like the underdogs. And that goes, you know, in hip hop as well. You know, when Jay-Z came through with Reasonable Doubt, he had songs like Regrets. Regrets is a song that Jay-Z could never, ever make again. You got to learn to live with regrets. This sounds like a coming of age story. It sounds like a a part of a film of a coming of age narrative. You know what I'm saying? So when he drops something like Magna Carta, Holy Grail, when he drops uh, Watch the Throne, all those things are just, he's toasting champagne. It's a celebration of his success. So it's very difficult for us to revere that album four or five years from now As a classic, it's very difficult because the very nature of what gets you to love an artist so much is is relating to their beginnings. And now when they have reached this level that Jay-Z has reached, and I mean, let's not even make this specific to just Jay-Z. I mean, look at Kanye and his humble beginnings, Eminem and his humble beginnings. Humble beginnings are what build classic albums. Nas, you know, I I shouldn't have to mention anyone else. You understand what I'm trying to say. Do I think that it's possible that Jay-Z could make another classic album? I think it's the music is going to have to speak so loudly. The music is just got to be so overbearingly great if you're Jay. Not just because of the underdog thing. Just because the standard that, that, that he's built for himself, even the J that you've had for, I don't know, since probably Kingdom Come J. Kingdom Come and Forward, you've had a more dumbed down Jay-Z. Blueprint 3, okay, let's say that. Let's say Blueprint 3 and forward, you've had more of a dumbed down Jay-Z, in my opinion. So even with that J, he was never very wordy. He was never very complex. But now he's really dumbed himself down. Is it possible for him to still keep that mainstream appeal that he's got now because he's simplified his style and still appease, you know, people like you who have been Jay-Z fans since the beginning, it's possible. It's possible, I'm going to say, because it's Jay-Z. But the humble beginnings are what build classic albums within hip-hop, in my opinion. It's got to start at that grassroots type shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he made this album when he had nothing, when it was just about... Because it always starts with the art, doesn't it? You know? Because because us hip-hop fans, we are, we're artists at heart. You know, we're very romantic about hip-hop. So whenever we speak about an artist when they first came through, even if this was an artist that was established, uh, you know, to some degree, we always want to feel like this guy was dead broke and he made this. With no resources whatsoever, he did this. Even if it's not the case. And Jay-Z is somebody who, you know, he, he claims to, you know, he's had... He's still spending money from 88. 
You know, he told you that on Reasonable Doubt. But someone like Jay, who's basically at the top of this thing, both artistically and from a business standpoint, it's got to be it's going to be very difficult for him to do something like that. But thank you for your email. And uh, guys, you can send me these emails whenever the fuck you'd like. I'm just going to spit these out. And uh, l- l- let's get this shit popping, man. All your hip hop related questions, you can send them to d.podcast at gmail.com. That's d.podcast at gmail.com. What you got?